I've got another little grocery haul for you and in today's haul I'm telling you one of the tricks of the supermarkets that you might not know. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and another grocery haul. Today I've got some things from Aldi. Unfortunately I've not got the receipt so I won't be able to put the prices on the screen for you. Um, but I've got a haul from Asda as well and I have got the receipt so I'll put the prices on the screen for that. First of all let's see what we got at Aldi today. Start with the cold stuff which is what I went in for. I went in for a couple of things and came out with all this <laughs> usual. Right so I've got a big bag of baby spinach, thought it looked really nice actually and it's got a decent date on it so I'm going to have that just on the side of whatever I'm having with my uh, for my dinner because I really need to get more greens into me and spinach is so good for you plus the bearded dragon likes spinach as well so she can get some of that too Jack got a little pint of, not a little, is it a pint? I don't know how much is in these ones Yes a little pint of semi skim milk. Asda don't always have the, the pint sized ones, so we picked one up in Aldi. Picked up one of the garlic pizza breads for Brooke, she likes that. It's just a perfect size for Brooke to have on her own. Now, one of the things I went in for was the jerk chicken goujons because Brooke is the fussiest eater in the world and she's discovered she likes these. So, um, yeah, I picked up two packs because the 10th of February, this is only the second. So, they will be good for her. Then we went round to the freezer and I got these. We weren't going for them, but they looked so nice. Two sticky rib parcels. <gasps> and it says, tender boneless pork rib meat and sticky barbecue sauce wrapped in a flaky puff pastry. Not overly good for you. Um, each parcel cooked is 487 calories. Ouch. But oh, just as a wee treat, it does look nice. And the other thing that I went in for was the crispy skin on fries. I saw these on Cheryl What's For Tea channel and they looked brilliant. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try them. Covered stuff and, uh, yeah, not so healthy stuff. We got, we were needing peanut butter and we saw this. It is a massive kilogram, yeah, look, a kilogram tub. 100% nuts, so there's no added sugar or palm oil or salt. And it was only about £3.50. And they saw a similar size one in Asda and it was £6. So definitely a good deal for that because Brooke and Jack both like peanut butter. I like it as well, but I don't have it very often. So yeah, that sounded like a good deal to us. Pick these up again. These are delicious. The apple and cinnamon hot pudding and the sticky lemon hot pudding. My mum and dad are wanting to try them. So I've got an apple and cinnamon one for me and a lemon and an apple one for my mum and dad to try. I think they're £1.19 each, something like that, but they're so tasty. Jack likes his um, fruit and nuts for snacking on. He usually gets them in Asda, but while he saw them in Aldi, he thought he'd pick them up. I'm sure they were cheaper, but can't remember the exact price. They're a good source of fibre, and it's fruit and nuts for nibbling. We also picked up the walnut halves as well, and they're a natural source of fibre too. Jack likes rices for lunch. Um, so he saw these good grains, red and white quinoa. Oh, I don't didn't really like quinoa, and um, a nutritious blend of red and white quinoa, simply cooked to unlock delicious nutty flavour. Again, a good source of fibre. Ready in two minutes in the microwave, and he picked up the bang bang rice. Um, Jack does like a nice sort of spicy rice, but a lot of them like the peri peri ones, and that he doesn't find very spicy. So he thought he would try that. It says. A Chinese-inspired hot and spicy rice with wheat, sang wheat, oh, Fiona, sweet, tangy and savoury flavours. Yeah, it says a new limited edition. And we also got the buffalo rice, American style. And it says an American-inspired recipe with sweet, tangy tomato and garlic flavours. Mmm. And finally from that he got some winter greens. Oh, they look nice actually. A warming blend of red rice, black lentils, chestnuts with the tart taste of cranberries and seasonal spices. That sounds nice, doesn't it? It's low in saturated fat. Let's see what the calories are in that. 
228 calories in half the packs. So that is quite high, I suppose. But look at the fats. Green and the fats and sugars. That's good. Yeah, and they're all decent as well. The rice. Ah, they're all similar. We got some Abernethy biscuits. They were only about 55 pence or something. And, um... He does like an Abernethy biscuit. He usually gets them in Asda, but they were cheaper in Aldi. He picked up some Tenant's Lager. Four cans of Tenant's Lager. I think he said it was £3.50 for that, which isn't bad. He picked up a pack of Bugles uh, in the cheese flavour, and they were a pound, I think he said. Now, the really naughty thing. <laughs> These are for Brooke. She loves her chocolate-filled crepes. She usually has one of them in the mornings going to school. Um, but she's off school next week, so I got a couple of packets because again, as they haven't always got the chocolate ones, and when they do, they're quite expensive. So I think they were one twenty-five or something a packet. Picked through up some fizzy rainbow belts. She's usually enjoying this sort of thing just now. They were twenty pence or something. They weren't expensive. And she's not a these for ages. I used to really enjoy these spirals hazelnut. They have a chocolate one as well but I got her the hazelnut one for a little change and there's seven bars in there. I think they used to be decent on Slimming World actually. 122 calories per bar so maybe about six cents on Slimming World. Hmm and these are very naughty but they look so good. Two caramelized biscuit buns. <gasps> oh they look a bit like cinnamon rolls but it's biscoff type that's on it rather than cinnamon. That was everything that I got from Aldi. I'm going to put these away and then I'll show you what I got from Asda. Right, on to Asda now. I am going to show you the frozen stuff first so I can get that put away. But the first thing that I'm going to show you was one of the Asda Rewards app deals. Now, you know me, I'm always going on about how good value the Asda Rewards, Rewards app is. So you just get so much cash back. And I've got £17 just now ready to spend on my app that I can basically just put that against any shopping in Asda. Anyway, although if you are doing it, you've only got six months to spend it. But um, one of the deals that I, I like all the time is every now and again they'll do like a superstar deal or something. And they'll actually give you cash back on whatever you buy. So way back when, August time I think, they were doing the big tubs of like Rosies and Heroes and things like that. And if you bought a tub of that, you got £5 back in your rewards app. So I got like three of them. So I got £15 just for buying three tubs of sweets. And I gave them for Christmas. So this was uh, one that I noticed on the app. And it was a Goodfellas pizza, a Brew City side and a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. If you bought the three of them, you were getting five pounds cash back into your app. So I was like, I need to do that. So I'm going to show you that first. So there was quite a few different pizzas you could choose from, but we went for the Goodfellas Takeaway Classic Barbecue Chicken and Bacon. I'll put the individual prices on the screen for you. Um, but I think it worked out for the three of them, it worked out £12 something, but I'm getting five pounds back for that. So we're going to have a Goodfellas pizza with... We got the Brew City Cheesy Brew Bites. Um, but you could have got the mozzarella sticks and the Halloumi Bites and things like that as well. So we got them. And we got Ben and Jerry's Chocolate Cookie Dough. So we got the three of them. Now, the ice cream on its own is £5 something. So I would never normally get that. Brooke loves it. We're not really ice cream people, but Brooke loves the Ben and Jerry's Cookie Dough. Normally don't get it because it's ridiculous money to pay for ice cream, but we're basically getting it for like 50 pence because we're getting five pound back. So I had to show you that deal. I love it. I don't know how long it's on for, but I have now got five pound left uh, put back into my app to spend on whatever I want in Asda. Fab deal. So that was that. And the only other frozen things that we got was these. Brooke loves the cheesy mini pizzas that they did at Christmas. And we're not sure if they are just a Christmas thing or not. So she's like, anytime you see them, pick up a few boxes. So I picked up three boxes of them to put in the freezer because she loves them. So I'm going to put these away and I will show you the rest of the child stuff. Right, the child stuff, I've got something else to tell you. Now, let's have a look at this. Jack picked up a planet of plums. I don't know if any other supermarkets are the same, but Asda have stopped putting a best before date on their fruit and veg, their fresh fruit and veg. But instead they've appeared with these codes. See where it says B5? 
my first noticed it ages ago on the mushrooms and we're like, what's the date on them? There's no date, but there's this funny code and it's been annoying us. So Jack asked the guy today, he was stocking the shelves, stacking the shelves, stocking the sh anyway, and Jack said, look mate, what is with these codes? It's really annoying me. And he said, the letter, so the B is for the month, so A is January, B is February, C is March, etc. And the number, which in this case is five, is the date of the month. So, it is a best before system, but they're not making it clear that that's what it is. And Jack was like, why are they doing that? He said, none of us have got a clue. My theory is that there's been a lot of waste with fruit and veg. People look at the date and think, oh, that's a couple of days' time. So they'll go to the back and they'll get one with a better date on it. And it's best before rather than used by. So I think their thinking is to put a code on it so the shop staff know whether it's in date or not, but the customers don't know. And that way they'll just look at it and say, yeah, it looks fine, I'll, I'll take it, I'll use it, rather than a whole load of fruit and veg going in the bucket. And to me, that makes sense. I mean, there is a lot of waste because quite often, like the, those plums, B5, so the 5th of February, that's three days' time. I bet you they'll still be fine in two weeks. But so many people are so hung up on best before dates that they wouldn't buy them. And they would, the shop would have to put them in the bucket if it was after the best before date. So there you go. If you ever wonder what these codes are, that's what they are. We have cracked the code. <laughs> anyway, back to the haul. So yeah, that was our plums the 5th of February. Um, I got some Scotty Brand bacon potatoes. I really enjoy these. Done my, uh, with my, my special tip, which I gave in one of my vlogs. I can't remember what one it was. If I can find that, I'll link it. Um, to make them nice and crispy and fluffy. A uh, pack of bananas. Now they actually looked okay for once. Got three packets of pomegranate seeds because I love pomegranate seeds in my porridge. Now see, these have got a date on them because they're used by. It's not best before. The difference is best before is not going to do you any harm if you eat them after the date. Used by, you could basically get sick if you eat it after the date. In case you wonder, Jack picked up a couple, there was a, a full tray of these on the shelf that were best before, um, no, used by the 31st of January. Now, today's the 2nd of February, so that was rather illegal. <laughs> um, but he did manage to find some of the 6th of February, so I think he got two. Yep, he got two of them. They're brilliant for just putting in the microwave. Jack also got a couple of salads. He likes a salad for his lunch, so 6th of February. Strong and sweet Mediterranean style salad. And they got two of them. Got Brooke the Feetsters cheeseburger. She likes that without the cheese, just a plain burger. It goes in the microwave, it's like plastic, but Brooke likes it. So, yay, something she'll actually eat. We really like these, the crisp, two lightly dusted bassa fillets. And we were talking to my mum about it the other day. She's not a huge fish fan because she doesn't like it too fishy. <laughs> and I said, I'm exactly the same, but bassa doesn't really taste fishy. And it's really good. And she went, oh, I would maybe try that. So it was two for five pounds. So I picked up two of them. I'll give one to Granny Annie and we'll have one for dinner. It's so nice. Had it the other day with, um, what did I have with it? Oh, chips, oven chips and beetroot. Oh, so good. Jack had peas. I don't like peas. Got the ready to eat pork cocktail sausages. These are for the dogs. They have one of them as a treat every now and again. We got two tubs of the coronation chicken because I want one for my jacket potatoes and Jack wants one for his salad. He has a salad and one of these fillers for his lunch and the other one that he got was tuna and sweet corn. There's my coronation chicken. Jack um, was fancying some square sausage for his breakfast and they've had the onion lawn back and they've not had that for ages so he got that so lawn sausage it's like sausage meat but instead of being a link sausage with a skin around it it's just like that and it's really nice used to do a chili one as well but i've not had that for a while and on his roll with the sausage he likes some cold sauce so he got some of that as well i got more of these because they're delicious the muller light toffee apple crumble yogurt don't taste like toffee apple but they do taste of apple and they've got little bits of apple in them. I really like them. I'm cheese so I got some 
uh, we like the grated stuff because we're lazy. The grated four cheese blend and it's two for whatever so we picked up two. And we're nearly out of butter and this is the only butter I ever buy because it's delicious. Kerrygold! Right, I'm going to put all the cold stuff away and show you everything else. Oh no, I just remembered the milk. <laughs> I got three of these, um, the, the wee pint that I, uh, Jack bought from Aldi, he takes his work, but we got three of these for in the house. Right, everything else from Asda now, here's the drinks. So we've got Brooke, a bottle of the Asda's own Tropical Crush Zero, it's a bit like lilt and Brooke likes that. Jack got a bottle of their Asda's own Diet Lemonade, he also is loving the pomegranate juice, um, now this isn't um, in the fresh juice but it's on the like with all the long life juices and he really likes it especially with a wee drop lemonade I got two of the raspberry pet to match my favourite ever drink and just now they're two for two uh, two pound each or two for three pound it's first time in ages I've done a deal on it <laughs> Granny Annie was needing coffee for her Tasmo machine so I got her a cappuccino I got her they were three for eleven pound so I got her a cappuccino, a latte macchiato, a skinny latte macchiato because I didn't know she wanted normal or skinny and three of the caramel uh, latte macchiato because my dad really likes that. So that was the drinks. Burned. Brooke was out of pepper. I'm really struggling to get pepper. Usually get the big one out of b and I was in b and yesterday and they didn't have any and Asda didn't have any big ones either so I just got her the small whole black peppercorn grinder. She likes to grind it herself rather than getting the fine stuff. Jack likes his macro, so he got one in olive oil and one in sunflower oil. And I love beetroot. It's one of the only veggies that I eat, so I have that on the side of basically all my dinners. That and the spinach will be lovely with my jacket potato. And the not so good for your stuff, but Brooke, the panel chocolate, she normally takes one of them again to school with her, but she's going to be off next week so she can munch on them in the house. And Jack wanted some rolls to go with the sausage and coleslaw, and um, so he got those. We didn't need bread because Jack just picked that up yesterday, or the day before. Biscuits, look what I found. Work, work, work. I love chocolate digestives. My favourite ever are gingerbread digestives, but they're not in anymore. So, Galaxy Orange digestives. They had normal Galaxy digestives as well, but I picked up the orange ones because Jack won't eat them. <laughs> 83 calories a biscuit. I bet they're so good though. I've not tried them and I can't wait. I got Brooke her time out biscuits, she loves these. So for Brooke, I got her the Kinder Bueno White and the Kinder Coco Happy Hippos. She really likes them as well. Jack picked up a packet of Starburst. I noticed in b and yesterday that they're doing Opal Fruits. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Opal Fruits is what Starburst were when we were wee. So, yeah, that says limited edition Opal Fruits, but I still only did Starburst, so he picked up some of them. I don't know if they taste any different. We do like a wee milky bar now and again, so we've got one each for me and Jack. Then slightly healthier, oh no it's not, <laughs> picked up a packet of Galaxy Ripples, I love these, I'll have two and Brooke can have two. And slightly healthier ones, these Bounty Triple Treats are really nice, they're a bit like, um, like not muesli bars, but it's basically, it's mixed up fruit, nut and chocolate. So they're a bit like cereal bars, but tastier and the bounty ones do taste like bounty they do bounty mars snickers i think there's maybe a galaxy one as well they're 175 a box for four so they are quite expensive i don't get them all the time but because i'm trying to be slightly healthier i thought i would treat myself to these over 75 percent fruit and nut and they're high in fiber and finally, some good old skinny whip. Jack picked these up. Less than 80 calories a bar, and that is the mint and black chocolate ones. So that is everything that we got from Aldi and Asda today. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. If so, hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. If you do enjoy watching hauls, I'm getting into doing more of them. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!